Working in VR with a VR headset, is that possible? Yes. And I will show you some cool tools that you can use for working in VR. I will use the MetaQuest 3 in this video, but you can also use all other VR headsets. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Thank you to my sponsors, Vodkos VR, Open Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and here's a good example how you can work in virtual reality. This is actually the software virtual desktop and here's my PC monitor. I'm connected wireless to, uh, with the MetaQuest 3 to my PC and in the background there's the virtual desktop streamer and here I can just do everything I would do uh, with, with the mouse. Uh, that's just my desktop. I can scroll and so on, switch tabs, just use my desktop stuff and if uh, I connect the two monitors I can switch to the other monitor when I click this button and then switch monitor and look at this now I'm in an Excel sheet and I can um, use a, desk, a, a, a keyboard here for example and then uh, you see that here yeah I can whatever, do whatever I want here and uh, I can even right click with the B button on the right controller see that well that's really awesome and I can close the keyboard again and I can switch back to the other monitor. Well, that's really nice. And um, you can also not only work, but also watch movies. You see that here, half side by side, full side by side mo movies. And for this, for example, you can switch the seat and then watch from the big TV here. That's really awesome. That's for, or for checking out a presentation, for example, or watching movies and so on. And you can even switch the environment, for example, to an auditorium. Look at this. And now I have a really huge monitor in front of me. That's absolutely nice. Yeah. So for watching movies, that's awesome. But you can, of course, also play games, yeah? wireless. Just uh, with your PC, I can stream Half-Life Alyx to my Quest 3, for example. So uh, virtual desktop is really awesome. And what you need for that is on your PC, you will need this here, the virtual desktop streamer software. And uh, from the Meta Store virtual desktop, you have to buy it. You can find all the links in the description below. But this is a really nice way to yeah, have your PC here, have your desktop and work in VR. Really nice. So if you want to do that, Virtual Desktop is a nice tool for that. Yeah, guys, and there's another method how you can um, work together. So this is from Meta Horizon Workrooms. This is a free app. You can start it. This is my desktop, my PC. And um, yeah, this is the workroom that I uh, created for testing. And I can invite, you can see it, uh, add people. And then I can invite some, uh, invite some people here that uh, can join in VR or also uh, just via a desktop if they don't have a VR headset. Unfortunately, I cannot control that with my controllers, but with my mouse. Now you can see I can add people here. I can also, um, for example, uh, switch monitors. Uh, for example, uh, go here and then switch monitors. And then here I'm in my uh, sheet, uh, Excel sheet, and I can click here. And as you can see, you see my real keyboard and my hands here. I can go test one, two, three, four. Is that cool? Huh? And then it can, of course, I can share my monitor and then it will be shown there or wherever you like. You can even switch environments, yeah? for example, here. And uh, you can, of course, uh, make the screen uh, smaller and so on. You can uh, do hands up, you can switch off your monitor, you can change position, you can even switch off the um, pass-through view of that. Yeah, and here I have some options for the room. Um, yeah, and of course you can control everything here with your um, real mouse. Yeah, I can uh, switch back now to the other monitor and then we can even chat together with the other people. It has hand tracking as well when you switch it on and that's really nice and it's for free. Uh, so you just need the desktop app to stream your desktop. Uh, you can share your monitor as I said and just establish a workroom and then everybody can join. That's really nice. Horizon workroom.
Yeah, and another tool that you can use is this one here. It's called Mozilla Hubs. Yes, it's from Mozilla, the same company that made the browser. <laughs> and yeah, this is a demo. We are here in a conference room and I can jump to different uh, places here. And yeah, that's where that's my private room. And, and, and here I can invite people. Uh, I can switch off my microphone. I can even jump here, you see that? And I can do smooth locomotion. Yeah, and this works via a browser, via web we are. Look at this, when I push the button from the left controller, this is just a browser experience. So here I can chat, so other people can join without VR headset. We can chat here, I can invite people. Here you have different options like creating your avatar, change your avatar, um, change room, change settings and so on. Now that's really nice. And I can just uh, go in VR here again and then I'm back. That's nice. Um, yeah, that's another method uh, to have conferences uh, and work and so on. Yeah, you can find the link in the description below. The, uh, basic, the basic version is for free. I think you can invite like 10 people there. And uh, yeah, you can try it out if you like. Nice. Okay guys, and here is the next app that I want to show you. It's called Immersed. Yeah, and the basic version is also for free. I, I think you can just have uh, up to four monitors. And uh, look at this, you can even have them wherever you want. You can put them away, pull them very, very close. <laughs> and that's awesome. Here another one and another one. Uh, you can even resize them, whatever you want. And these are my desktop. Uh, of course, this is my desktop. And yeah, for example, I, here I can do something uh, open some stuff. Here I can work in an Excel sheet and here I can watch uh, my, my videos all at the same time. Uh, and that's really cool. And look at this here. I even have my mixed reality keyboard here. You see that? And I can write in my Excel sheet. Hello, hello guys. That's so cool, isn't that? <laughs> Test one, two, three. So how cool is that? Yeah, that's really nice. And uh, yeah, that's what you can do here. And of course, uh, there's a menu of Immerse. You push the button here on the, on the Meta uh, con uh, controller. And here you can see all that stuff. Like, uh, yeah, the conference room, you can change that. Uh, you can uh, go in a public room, uh, some settings here for a keyboard and so on. You can share the link to invite other people. You have a whiteboard where you can uh, paint <laughs> and um, you can have a webcam. The, you, you have the keyboard here and then you can invite your friends directly and that's really awesome. Uh, that's really nice and uh, yeah, if you want to try it, the basic version is for free. As I said, I will put the link in the description below. Immersed. Very, very cool. Yeah, and this were some really cool tools to work in virtual reality. But not only work, you can also watch movies as you saw. And yeah, but these are only example apps. There are a lot of more apps that you can work uh, with. And uh, the question is, what tool do you use for working in VR? Please write it in the comments below to share it with the community. Would be awesome. So, um, the, if you are interested in working in VR, I would suggest some light headsets. Like, I think the Quest 3 is good for working. It's not so heavy. And also the Pico 4, uh, that's also nice. Um, I will put the links in the description below. Then you could support me a little bit for free. But I wouldn't use the heavy headsets like the Pimax. That's not good. It's too heavy. Um, yeah. So, would you work in VR? Write it in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de